All right, let the spirits flow. It's a phrase you might hear at a bar, although I'm not sure anybody really speaks that way anymore. But anyway, for one watering hole in Nampa, this cocktail cliche is more of a double entendre. Pete's Tavern has a lot of regulars looking to sip a cold one at the end of a long day at work. But according to the customers and the bartenders who serve them, Pete's pints are accompanied sometimes by the paranormal. In the spirit of Halloween, this toy redial, well, it's on the house. Tucked in toward the end of 12th Avenue, Pete's Tavern has been a fixture of downtown Nampa since the 40s. Winner, winner, winner. And on any given day, bartender Pam Ballou you You're welcome. takes care of some of the same customers that have been dropping by for decades. But there are those who have been coming here for a lot longer. You almost feel like you have friends around all the time. Yeah. Linda Barr bought the place with her husband Gary in 1996, but she says the building was built more than a century before that, and once housed a butcher shop, a Chinese laundry, even a speakeasy during Prohibition days. These days, Pete's primary potable is beer. You're welcome. Good luck. So there may be a lack of spirits behind the bar, but certainly not around it. Every once in a while, something weird will happen. Uh, somebody will get touched, and they'll turn around, there's nobody there. Names called out in an empty room, ashtrays moving on their own, the TV turning itself on and off. Almost all the regulars have a Pete's Tavern tale to tell. Yeah, it's like the fish stories, you know. <laughs> Every time you tell one, it gets a little bigger, a little more interesting, yeah. But in a bar at night, the inexplicable isn't always inconceivable. Sometimes though, even the morning after can leave little to the imagination. Linda says one day her husband was in what they call the club cleaning after a party. He was doing some sweeping and you know, things like that. And he turned around and then there's a mylar balloon in front of his face and he just kind of pushes it out of the way. He's doing his thing and, and he looked up and here's this mylar balloon. Five more times Gary pushed that balloon away only to have it return. Yeah, he says almost like it was a magnet. He says, he said, turn around me right here. Yeah, I get a little creeped out too. Because when Linda looked for it later, it was gone. Never found that mylar my balloon. That's been almost, it's been 18 years ago. Wayne Bull remembers stopping in after a shift. Just before closing time, had some coffee. When he caught the club door out of the corner of his eye. And seen the outline of a woman, a smoky, white smoky outline, woman in long grass, long hair, and I asked the bartender, do you see that? And he looked over there and said, yeah. And I said, that's not normal. There's nobody there, is there? And he said, there shouldn't be. <laughs> Linda recalls another incident years ago when her husband and three friends, encouraged by liquid courage, decided to spend the night in the basement. The next morning they wake up, one of the guys is gone. They found him hunched over the bar, refusing to return. He wouldn't say if anything scared him or if he saw anything, he absolutely refused to even speak about it. So nobody knows what he saw or heard. Paranormal professionals claim at least four distinct entities call the tavern their territory, from a grumpy old man to a shy young woman none of whom seem to bother business. I'm used to having odd things happen. This Pete's Tavern. Yeah, come on down and mingle with the spirits. Brian Holmes, <laughs> Idaho's News Channel 7. It's a lot of mingling. Linda, the owner, says the psychics have said Pete's Tavern is filled with Chinese spirits and the building's basement was once part of the underground tunnels in downtown Nampa that were frequented by Chinese immigrants. She was told those spirits are just, quote, keeping an eye on the place. And as long as she doesn't make major changes to the building, there won't be any problems. And she hasn't. But get this, I called Pete's Tavern today and Tina, she answered the phone, told me she's only been there a couple of months. And nobody told her about these spirits when she was hired. But just in the last two weeks, she said she's had the bathroom door close on her twice. Middle of the day, she tried to walk in, closed right in her face. She opened it, tried it again, and it closed again, so it keeps happening.